Hello, you hate feel static powered Mark III travel machines. It is I, Sam of SG1, coming at you for a Doctor Who review. Yes. Um, yeah, I've been to B&M. They've got Doctor Who on sale. I got this set, which is familiar set, for £8. And I thought, fuck it, man. Uh, I like Capaldi as a Doctor. I think he's my favourite of the new Doctors. And yes, you can see my Xbox Live there. Should have had that turned off. Let's do that, shall we? <laughs> Professionally unprofessional is me is my motto, isn't it? There we go. Yes. Um yeah, so there we go. Just a minute. You know me, I'm not a packaging guy, but I just thought I'd show you there. There is an error on this package. It says there, which is familiar, 1988. Really? I, mean, I thought it was 2015, but no matter argue. Um and as you can see, you get Capaldi and you get um, well, the 12th Doctor, and you get uh, Mr. Davros uh, in all his glory there. Uh, flip it to the back. I will hold that up so you can read it if you so wish. And pause the video. It's got a weird funny colour. Mm, okay. Let's see if it zooms in. Mm, there we are. And you can read that. So, yeah, um, you've got the, the new Doctor Who logo there, and you've got um, basically... And it's TARDIS on that side, TARDIS on that side. Um, that's it for packaging, really. Let's take a closer look. Um, so join us after the break for your bit of this. And here we have the Doctor and Davros. Um, of course, Peter Capaldi and Julian Bleach, respectively, there. So um, we'll have a look at the Doctor first. And as you can see, the there we go. The face sculpt on this is really good. If it's not a little bit washed out, that was the biggest thing for me with these uh, character options figures. The paint they used is just a little washed out. Oh, there we go. As you can see there, it, it does look like um, Peter Capaldi. Um, and as you can see, he's got his least flamboyant costume. You've got your sort of second Doctor uh, trousers going on there. A little homage. You've got the, just the basic like, sort of Doc Martin boots. Quite big feet, isn't he? Um, and he's got just like a... Like a black sort of uh, mid coat going on with a hoodie underneath, um, zip hoodie and a grey t shirt. So, um, a costume that you could actually emulate, I think, is the reason why. The reason why he did the Sonic screw, uh, sunglasses as well. It was something that um, most kids could cosplay as, which I thought was pretty cool. And you got the nice, uh, let's get a closer look in there, shall we? Let's see if we can turn this down. There we go. We've got a real nice face sculpt of. Uh, Capaldi there. Like I say, if not a little washed out, um, you've got the nice uh, the hair there. It's, it's, you can see it's grey with grey highlights, um, which is pretty cool. Um, if you you know, nice big blue eyes. It's actually, eyes are painted on really nicely, actually. Um, but now there's not a lot of detail in the old dock there. Um, zoom. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's zoom that out. There we go. Um, character options. It's the same articulation as I think every humanoid figure. So rotate his arm 360 at the shoulder. He can do a 360 exorcist twist. And uh, not he uh, can move out a uh, move out with about, about there. But like I say, this is a standard character option. So when you move twist his um bicep there, you get the split in the costume, which always irks me that. I mean there are ways of, of um, minimizing that. Uh, the Thundercats figures that came out a few years ago minimised that a lot. So does the Master of the Universe Classics figures. He's got a bend at the elbow. You can do about 90 degrees. Um, and he can rotate at the wrists. He can do... Yeah, oh, it's a bit red in there. I didn't notice that. Got a red um, insert of his, of his coat there. It's pretty cool. Um, he can... Yeah, you can get about that move, movement out of him. So you can't quite do a perceptor kick. You can push his leg forward, push it back, but he's kind of hindered by the sort of the, the heavier rubber of his coat there. Um, you can rotate at the bicep, but again, standard character options, although it's not too bad because it is kind of hidden by the coat there. You can see it's hidden by the coat there because you've got the rotation there. You can bend him at the knee and you can rotate his boot as well. So, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, yeah. So that's the Doctor. We shall put him over there and take a look at Davros. And the detail on Davros, again, same thing, if not a, a little bit washed out. He could have done with a little bit more of a... And you can't even see it because it won't focus. There we go. Let's just turn the brightness down. Um, as you can see, his face sculpt is excellent. Just the paint 
apps just a bit washed out um you got all this beautiful detail at the back there of his headrest of his chair and the sort of clamps that hold him in position and you got all these details going on at the back there um and you got the roundels um and you got the skirt going on which is pretty cool it's kind of like half man half dalek which is pretty cool i was like davros scared the bejesus out of me when i was a kid um and you got the buttons of it, the class of his costume there, which is really nice, really nice, really nice. Let's have a closer look at his old noggin there. Come on, zoom in, you fucker. Come on, why won't you do it? There we are. Come on. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's a nice face sculpt, but the eyes could do with a little bit more darkening. Um, but like I said, the face sculpt is excellent, actually. Um, looks like he does in the show, but just a bit more of a darker... Especially for the eyes, because um, in the witch's familiar, he actually opens those eyes. Uh, and a bit more definition on the third eye in his skull, in his head there. Um, like I said, the blues, it's fine. It does the job, you know. Um, uh, yeah, a little mould flash on the old uh, sort of prong there, holding it into his head. But, you know, you can't have everything. Um, like I said, standard body of a Dalek, and you've got this. So there's a bit of a gash there. No man. Um we'll move his hand out of the way. We'll have a look at his hand actually. We'll have a look at his hand now. Got some nice um sculpted detail in there. Yeah, it's a bit rubbery. Um, you know, from when um his hand was shot off in rem remembrance of the Daleks. Um back when old um um Colin Baker was the doctor. Yeah, a nice bit of continuity going on there. Um which obviously saw it in um the end of time or end of days, whatever the episode was called. So we'll just move that out of the way for now and we'll take a look at his control panel on his on his chair. And you've got some really cool um uh, details going on. You've got over whatever the hell this is, which is pretty cool, and you've got all these dials and switches and stuff like that. And he has had an upgrade since nineteen seventy five, which is pretty cool. Um it would be nice if this lit up. But, you know, you can't have everything, can you? I mean, you could probably um, light that up um, if you had the, the skills. Fortunately, I don't. <laughs> you can see inside there, um, it's just where his torso just sort of moulds into the bottom, basically. Uh, they tried to paint it black, sort of like at a distance you wouldn't see it. But because I've got, I'm scrutinising it, you can see it quite nicely. Um, and then you've got, like, say, the, the detail on the buckles there. Uh, in terms of articulation, he can rot. Mm, he can't rotate his head. I don't think. No, looks like it can. Looks like it is separate. Ooh, let's turn the. Uh, there we are. Let's have a look. I don't think you can rotate his head. It should be. Able well, no, he doesn't rotate his head in the episode, does he? When he wants to look, he moves his chair around. Um, his arm can move up about to there, but I think it's hindered. He can't move it out. He can rotate it at the bicep. He can bend his elbow and he can rotate his hand. So, you know, he can work his controls to a certain extent. But he can't reach any over this side. But, you know, if you're just having him on display, he looks pretty cool. So, that's the Witch of Familiar. Oh, and he's got the standard Dalek bottom with some legal flam. Shum, blam, blam. Um, yeah, so he can roll quite nicely. Um, so, you know, if you're having a Doctor... The only thing that pisses me off actually about this set is you've got him moulded for a, a sonic screwdriver, but he doesn't come with one in the package that I have found. I might be missing something. Let me just double check that. I don't think there is a, a sonic screwdriver for this guy. It'd be nice to have one because he's obviously moulded for it. Um, but yeah, but there you go. So yeah, so what do I think? Um, yeah, I. I I, I really like these figures, um, especially eight pound. That's a really good bargain, actually. Um, how did you stack up to the other figures I've got? Um, here's your standard Dalek. I mean, they these were seen in the episode. Let's move this back so you can see. So you can put Daleks there. There we go. You can see everything we've got going there. Um, you know, you can have Davros. The Doctor is here. Yes, I know he's right there. That's not what Davros sounds, is it? And just for no reason, here's a Cyberman as well. Boom. So, I mean, you, you know, and Capaldi's bigger than a Cyberman. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if, if you want a Dalek kind of um, thing going on, you can't go better than that, really. So that's really fucking cool, actually. 
So yeah, if you want to get one of these sets, get yourself down to B&M, £8 at the minute. These are down to £12 as well, the Dalek sets. Um, and they didn't have the set I wanted either. Uh, in fact, they didn't have any Dalek sets. Uh, I might get another one of these just for army building, because you can never have enough Daleks. But yeah, it's it's a nice set to have. Um, so you get Peter Capaldi and you get Davros. I'm going to just move these out of the way because they're just in the shot. I'm not talking about them today. So yeah, so the 11th, the 12th Doctor and Davros, uh, bad character options, a really good set. Um, like I say, I've always wanted um figure of Capaldi because he's my favourite um, of the of all the do other new doctors, really. Um, I can't believe I'm... Is it, is it four doctors now? Hang on. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen... Five doctors now, fuck. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. And if you like what I do, check out my other Doctor Who stuff, which is not much, but it'll be here. Um, give that like button a huge smash, a caress, a press, if that's... You know, if that's your way, uh, it helps the channel out and it shows um, um, uh, YouTube, the algorithms and stuff like that. Uh, and if you do like what I do, why not subscribe? There's a subscribe button somewhere here, too. And if you would like to uh, check out my uh, Patreon, I've got some cool rewards over there. And there we are. There we are. Uh, just up here i've got some cool rewards there and uh, that would be amazing if you would at least check those out so thank you for uh, tuning in watch me prattle on about uh doctor who figures and i will catch you all very soon bye for now